step y'all to damn in the Dodge garage, and I'm going to show y'all how to add LED underglow to the bottom of your car. Shit looks sweet. Obviously, if you clicked on the video, you like how the shit look. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to install it. So, we're going to be working with something from LED Glow. Slimline is seven colors. It's about $109. Let's jump right into it. So, when you open up the box, you're going to have your control box. You're going to have your mountain kit. You're going to have four LED bars. And they're waterproof tubes. So, that way, these ain't like the regular strips that just go under the car that's protected. You're going to have two 36 bars and for like the front and the back. And you're going to have two 46 inch bars for the sides. You're also going to have instructions. Basically, how to install it on the car. It's pretty cool. Pretty quick. So, I'm just taking down my old ones and I'm installing new ones. That's the old one. That's the old box that they, uh, came with the old one. As you see, this one is a tad bit different. Same instructions. It comes with a red and a black wire to obviously black connects to the negative terminal. Red wire connects to the positive terminal. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure you got all your pieces that's supposed to came with it out of the box. Once you make sure you got everything, your mounting kit, your control box, all four or six of your bars, depending on which kit you got. Then you want to make sure you got everything lined up the correct way, the way how it's supposed to be mounted on a car. You don't want to mount the tube on a car and then try to connect it and realize the male doesn't go with the female. Like you see, I, this is an any that's supposed to connect to that right there. So you just want to make sure you got everything lined up the right way it's supposed to be. And that helps you know how you're going to mount it to the car. Okay, so first things first, you want to mount your new control box and connect it to the battery. Even though the battery is disconnected, but you just want to mount your control box and connect it to the battery. For me, I'm going to have to disconnect my old control box, but for you, you're just mounting it. Okay, so with your red and black wire for the positive and negative terminal of the battery, what you want to do is take a wire stripper and strip down the rubber. So that way you at least got maybe about like an inch of open wire showing. That way you connect it to each terminal. And then with your control box, it should have came with a 3M double-sided tape for mounting. So that you can mount it somewhere on your car, under your hood. Each car is different. Okay, so I've just connected the black wire to the negative terminal and the red wire to the positive terminal. Once you do that, as you can see, the control box is fully operational. Uh, let's see if I can change the color. Okay, so you want to make sure your control box is working. My control box is working. I just changed the color from flashing to now it's just sitting on blue. Obviously, blue car, you know. So next, on the control box, you're going to have two of these wires coming out. You're going to have... And then you have an Audi. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you want to line the bars up. First, like I told you, one needs to be an any, and the other one needs to be an Audi. So that way, this one going around the side of the car can connect, connect, connect to one. And when it comes back around to the front, this one could, should connect to the other. All right, so out of the box, it should have came with mountain and screws for each tube. It should be three mountains and three screws for each tube for you to mount. Okay. And once you get, you see I had my car jacked up. So once you get on here, then you realize the tube needs to be mounted right there. So you want to mount your tube. Okay, so you get down here, put the screw in it. That. Grab your drill. And there you go. With the drill, you drill it in. Keep in mind, you're going to do three of these to hold the tube in place. Okay, so all three. Let's put up two. Here's the third one right there. The screw is put in. Okay, so once that one is put up, you got the wire that's hanging from it. What you want to do is now you got to conceal it. So now you want to have this wire 
going up through your fender liner right there to connect with this one right here at the top of the car. So just unscrew your fender liner, put the wire through, bring it up, and have it meet this wire right here. So now that I've pulled the wire from the bottom of the car from behind the fender liner with the same wire from the control box that's, that's supposed to connect to it, right here, pull this one through the side of the engine where it's clearly the open part of the end of the fender and just connect the wire. Even though this is connected and it's technically going to be hidden behind the fender, dirt and everything still goes up there. So I just tape the two connections right there to prevent any dirt from getting in between ever messing up my connection. That way I ain't got to remove the fender liner or deal with this, clean it, or have it ever mess it itself up or anything. So it's just a note. You don't have to do it, but I do it. Okay, so you have zip ties that come with the kit. So as you can see, I cut the old zip tie that was holding my old LED bar from under the car. Now I'm gonna add a new one to tie this wire far back. So you may have an issue if you have the wire so close to where they jack the car up, because when you're jacking the car up, it can cut the wire. So you wanna tuck that as far back as possible when you connect it. So as you all can see, I got the wire coming from the LED tube far back here made two holes to run the zip tie through to bring it back here and then i got it going up the fender liner so now that we got one bar knocked down now it's time to knock out the rest we're gonna make it quick so now it's time to connect the end of this to the end of the back one see if it works and the back works so we can go ahead and disconnect it, and we know it works. And we're gonna do the same. We're just gonna hide this wire from the bottom of the car through the fender liner, connect that one through the fender liner, and start mounting the back one. Just a quick note, you do not have to take the wheel off like I did with the front wheel to get behind the fender liner. You can either do it with the wheel still on the car, you can do it with the wheel off the car. It all depends on, see, how I pushed it through. And it's through the back of the fender liner without me even taking the wheel off the car. Every car is different. Uh, some cars are going to be a little bit more difficult than others. Uh, my car, you just got screws that's right here that goes to the fender liner that you can take off. With the rim still being on the car, certain cars, you gotta take the wheel off to take out these screws. It all depends on your car. Or you could just do the crackhead version like I did, put a flat head beneath here and just open it up. Simple as that. But we're gonna connect the back, same way we connect to the front. Have the back wire running through the fender line, have this one of the, connect them, and that's it. So I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail. When you open up this fender liner right here after you remove the screw, how you get that wire from the back of the car, the bottom, go under here, take that wire, and see, that's where I have the flat head, the opening, right there. So you take the wire, push it through the gap, and it's gonna come out right there. Simple. And then you connect the two from behind the fender. All right, so now the back is done. Got the three mounts, one, two, three. So only make sure it ain't touching the exhaust at all, because that shit will melt the fuck out of your wires. Then, just do the same thing, mount the side, connect the, the side to the front LED, and you're done. All right, so I came into an issue with length of the wires 
But on the new kit that they give you comes with these end tips. And as y'all can see, all of the LEDs are working front, back, side, and side without it being connected. So that's a good thing uh, that they offer with the new kit other than the old kit. I was mad as shit at first, but now you, I can position it the way I want to position it without stressing that these two ain't connected. Okay, so I just put the final tip on the, the front one right there and i'm just going to wrap it up with tape hide it behind the fender liner we all done so i just finished hooking up the last piece which is the front made sure my control box was good like i said you can cut it on like that or use your remote but i'm gonna show y'all how to use it using the remote go ahead close this hood so we can do it so y'all i'm finally done and this is what it looks like Looks good. Definitely looks good. Now with the remote, you use A. Cut it off, cut it on. B. Change the mode of the streams. You have it going with different colors. Have it strobing. C. on different rainbow colors and D, different flash modes. Like I said, you do got different colors. Change the color with C, so you got blue, white, rainbow, red, pink, purple, dark purple, orange, yellow, green, and turquoise, and then back to blue. So that's strictly how it looks, and we done. Y'all let me know if y'all like the video.